The artifacts on these shelves could be in a museum. Old pipes, uh, old nameplates from, from uh, various builders and so forth. But Rick Morrell isn't a curator. Uh, yeah, owner, president, uh, chief bottle washer, you know, you name it. He owns Morrell and Associates Pipe Organ. And among other things, his job is giving these pipes a voice. Yeah, that's exactly what it's doing. He's getting it to speak. All the same note, all middle C. Morell estimates his shop maintains about 125 pipe organs in Colorado and beyond. You're kind of like a doctor in a way. You know, if, if somebody has a problem a Saturday afternoon or Sunday morning, they call you. That's something he learned early on. His father worked for the original owner of this shop before buying it in the 60s. My sister and I spent you know, a lot of Saturdays going with my dad when he would be on service calls. I, I fell in love with not only the business, but the people in, in the business, the history of it. Morell and Associates has built and rebuilt organs around the country and right here in Colorado, too. Probably one of our, our most, the major one that most people would know in, in Denver is the Cathedral of American Conception. The amazing thing about a pipe organ, especially in a building such as the cathedral, is the fact that you have such a wide variety of tones. Phil Bordalo plays the cathedral's revitalized pipe organ. I was so captivated with the instrument, I sent him an email and told him how much I appreciated what he had done in the restoration of the instrument. Morell and Associates had to make quick fixes to the organ for the Pope's visit in 1993 before fully restoring it over the next two years. I had to sit inside the organ while they played it for the uh, Mass for the bishops and cardinals, in case anything went wrong. Tastes in church music are changing. My chief problem right now is finding good people to come to work. Morell and his three employees are coming up on retirement, and no one is in line to take over when they're gone. I wouldn't want it to continue on, you know, and not be able to live up to, you know, the tradition that we set. Morell and his employees will keep up the tradition for now, and even if he can't find someone to keep this history alive, he knows the organs his company has built and rebuilt will live on. The good thing about a pipe organ is that it just never wears out. Things wear out, components wear out, but they can always be renewed. Brian Wendland, 9 News.